Hi everybody, today let's talk about two topics which are actually unrelated but very simple topics, okay? The first is your opportunistic infection and the second one is something called as fall and rise phenomenon, okay? So let's start with opportunistic infections. These are infections that you get to see in a patient when his immunity is so low. So as, as such, these opportunistic infections will not pop up in a patient. Only when his immunity is low due to certain diseases or certain lifestyle he has, then the patient gets opportunistic infections. Let's discuss what are the causes of opportunistic infections. The first one and the major one is definitely, as you all know, yes, HIV, right? That is known to cause your immunity to be low or that is known to cause uh, decreased immunity and this makes a patient prone for opportunistic infections. What are the other causes, guys? Second cause is your steroid therapy. Steroids are not so good for the body, right? So once a patient starts taking a lot of steroids, what happens is decreases his immunity power and he gets opportunistic infections. The other reasons could be chemotherapy for cancer. So people who are taking chemotherapy, their immunity is also low. People who have undergone organ transplant, they tend to have a decreased immunity and they are prone for such diseases. Other causes include malnutrition and prolonged antibiotic therapy. You know, the problem with prolonged antibiotic therapy is that once you take a lot of antibiotics, you know, there are some people who simply take antibiotics without even consulting a doctor. And uh, what happens to such people is that the microbes become so resistant to the antibiotics. And even when they get an actual disease, we give the antibiotic, these microbes become resistant and they will proliferate and the patient ends up getting the disease most severe. So that's all about your opportunistic infection. Let's start with your fall and rise phenomenon, okay? So this fall and rise phenomenon is associated with a particular disease that's nothing but, yeah, tuberculosis. When the patient is on anti-tubercular therapy and if he's not taking that properly, that is on a daily basis or on time that we tell him to take, then he is prone to get the disease. I'm sorry, it's not the disease, it is a phenomenon called as the fall and rise phenomenon. Now, what exactly is it, guys? It's very simple. See, when you give him antibiotics, initially, the microbes will die, right? So when you take the sputum and examine, you can see a decreased or a fall in the number of microbes, all right? But if the patient is not complained, if he's not taking the drugs properly, what happens after a time? These bacteria become resistant. They get the superpower and they become resistant, okay? So after a while, when you see the sputum, so he might not be taking it on a regular basis. So later on, when you take the sputum, we get to see that there is a rise in the number of microbes in the sputum right so this fall and rise phenomena tells you that the treatment has failed okay so i think we are done with two topics for today thank you